Welcome back everybody, Kai Swans here, bringing you another episode of Football Manager 2015 with Swansea City. Sorry about this guys, I didn't realise at the time of recording, but the video for this game, the files inside it, are somehow the recording messed up and I just can't show you, but I'll tell you what happened anyway. We started playing and uh, the first time I played and I went 14 seconds in, Gomi scored, brilliant goal about five seconds later crash dump really disappointed with that however I went back reloaded the game and this is what happened our team were just terrible they took us to shreds and more and we were lucky to even get one goal um, but yeah that pretty much ended our Premier League and I'll let myself get on with the video thank you now we're into the second season guys this so last season I left you guys against Chelsea um, 3-1 loss pretty much ended our Premier League title hopes or so I thought but in the last four games we won at home lost away won at home lost away in four pretty difficult teams games uh, amazing end of season form uh, that puts and Chelsea's under season form. Let's see, where do you see form? Senior schedule last season wasn't the best. So after playing Swansea, uh, we're here. Oh, they only had two more games, which they both. What? Oh, I haven't gone far enough. Here, they had one. They drew three games, which gave me hope. But then beat Crystal Palace four nil on the final day. That here put them top of the Premier League, one point ahead of us in second place really um, scary end of the season for as in we did kind of let it drop overall um, where do you see past positions uh, where's it so over last season oh it doesn't we spent a lot of time we should really in the end we slipped a little bit I mean that last no, well the run of form up until the Chelsea game another win or draw there and we could have or draw against Chelsea and we could have won the league but we had the best defence in the league, we had the best attack in the league, not best defence, we lost the least games in the league and we had the best attack in the league, so we should be proud. Um, anyway, transfers, so I didn't have too much of a budget, so I went for free transfers, which actually took up a lot of the budget. I had 20 million to spend, uh, as you can see I only spent 3 million, but a lot of it got transferred into wages, and I bought some really good players. So these three I got from crew, this guy. These were so in terms of regions I got I got nobody. The best player I had was two and a half star potential. So they were all rubbish. Uh three of them I think offered contracts the rest I terminated there and then. They were all half a star, one star potential. So I went out really quickly and tried my best to find some regions and most of the ones I found turned out to be pretty poor. The ones I could and finally did offer contracts to were this guy who looks amazing from crew, 100,000, uh, 4 to 5 star potential, really good looking, nice and fast, determined, um, hard working, good team player, technical ability, dribbling, he can be a superstar in the future. Another player, uh, not quite as good, he looked decent, look at his stats, I mean his stats are all round pretty decent for a 16 year old, but I guess not enough depth in terms of all the crossing, dribbling, finishing, heading, all those sort of stats are really poor. Dave Steele, goalkeeper again, looked better than he was. I mean, scouts gave him better rating. Uh, same here. Look at his stats. I mean, his stats are insane for what was a 17-year-old at the time, but <laughs> he just doesn't have a potential, it seems. Uh, same with this guy. Good stats, although he was 19. But yeah, um, as you can see, this guy's out on loan. So he's at Tan. Oh no, he's still here. Uh, Manurini, I'm going really slow, so I, I need a few young fullbacks. Uh, he was okay. And here, this is where the actual transfers were gone. So I got Visa, Visa on a free from Bayern. He's going to be, okay, his, I know he's a winger, but his position at the club, I think, is going to, he's going to be covering the fullbacks more than anything. I've got him trained, training as a fullback here, fullback defend. Um, I feel he can offer cover in all positions along the flanks, which is what I wanted him in for. Uh, next transfer, Barnetta. I regret that one, I'll admit. 
I forgot about Michu and Hatton Banafa wasn't available at that time for some reason. So I got Barnetta and I kind of regret it. His stats declined massively and he's on a high contract as you can see and he's a bit part player at best. But anyway, continue. Giovanco from Juventus, great transfer. Look at him, all around great player and still got three, four, five even years left in him. Amazing player, might sell him on in a few years. <laughs> I can't say amazing enough. Tom Cleverley on the free. In football manager, he is one of the best English midfielders that you can actually buy. And like most of them are just too expensive. With this guy on the free in the second season, it's brilliant. I'm really chuffed with this transfer. Look, 18 million is his value. Yeah, amazing transfer. Hatton Banafa, again, amazing player. Not the most team working player, hard working, but amazing player. Uh, ben Davis, I got him on loan from Tottenham to cover full back positions. Uh, I bought this guy, young goalkeeper, looks pretty decent. Looks like one for the future and a bit for now. Because Fabianski's got an injury, actually. Uh, and then. Oh, this guy. This was my big transfer. That was my marquee signing. He is my new Britain. I found him at last. This is mini Britain. Where's he in midfield? Half back defend. Look, this is, apart from the heading, this is my Britain. And with a few years in Swansea, look, play short, simple passes. He will be the in Britain of the future. So, that was the transfers. Now on to the tactics. I actually went ahead. Uh, so this tactic was a bit part tactic last season. I mostly used here four two three one. However, with the squad I currently have, I may keep this one a bit. But here, this is the tactic I'm going to play with. And as I have Percy and Oviedo are my two best fullbacks, pretty much. And look at them. They have got here wing back. They they can play anywhere up the wing. So this guy I've moved from a anchorman. Where is he? Here, if I'm an anchor man, I'm going to change him to a half back. I've actually made the tactic here in a way, but I want to change it on this one as well. So he sits deeper, and then these two are going to be positioned here. Uh, and the tactic will look something like that. So then, basically, I'm trying to emulate Barcelona a bit. These guys are going to be inside forwards, cutting inside. Boney's going to drop a little bit deeper. These two are actually going to swap. Sigurdsson and Boney, like Boney will be in this position roughly and Sigurdsson will be here with Cleverly. Th these two will just move up and these two will be my strikers that will be scoring. Obviously I'll probably play Hatton Benar for a whole load and then these guys will be down the side crossing the ball in and whenever that happens Kranvita will drop back and hopefully it'll do well especially with Kranvita. I, I really like him. He looks good. As you can see Fabianski's out for a few weeks so I'm going to be playing Stra Strakosha and Tremel a couple of games. Yeah, I this is the new tactic basically. I've gone for control as well because now that we're a higher level team we should really be looking to dominate games because we have got some really good players in the squad. Uh, obviously against lower down teams I'll be dropping back into this or this with a counter depending on what happens. But yeah, that's, that's generally what will be happening now. Well, tactics Ooh, let's look at the squad then. So the squad we currently have is a very strong one, although the Michu Barnetta issue, because I forgot completely about Michu when signing Barnetta, and without Michu this team looks pretty good with you know a player in the backup for each position pretty much. However, with Michu we now just have too many players, especially MC here. So cr the first team will obviously be Fabianski in goal. He'll be a set foot in goal. No offence, Campions, but uh, you've been completely pipped. This guy's amazing. Plays amazing, is amazing, all round. Obvious starter. Key player in the squad, pretty much. And centre backs. Sorry. Oops. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten how to pick the team. Centre backs will be those two. With Ama pushing for first team experience, but not getting too much. Oviedo will be my number one, especially whenever we play. Oh, I don't know how to pick the team. Especially whenever we play with the wing backs. When we play further deeper back, I'll move Ben Davis on. He's probably defensively stronger. But in an attacking sense, Oviedo is my number one. Faster and more all round better player, I think. Kranvita is obviously, I'm probably ruining his name, Kranvita. 
but he's going to be my number one half back with Britain and here yeah, Key being the backups for that position. Sorry, Britain, you've gone from being the best player at the team to being somebody who's probably barely going to play this season, and I do apologise for that. In midfield, now that's the hardest one. Look at this choice. Basically, for MC, I've got to pick one of him, 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 or these three. I, that's difficult. So, mostly I'll be playing cleverly as the deep line playmaker and skillfully as the attacking playmaker. On the wings, it's not that difficult choice. I mean, whenever Hatem Benafa's fit, he's going to be on the right, if not Dyer, uh, with Monteiro on the left. And I guess Dyer might play a left a whole load more. And up front, again, too many players. Gomis is going to be a very much a bit part, and maybe if he gets upset, I might sell him in January. But it's going to be Giovanco, probably. Depends, actually. On the formation, I guess when we play with a... Um, nah, I don't know. It's just going to be rotated, those two. But they're both as good as each other. I think maybe Giovanco's a little bit better. But he's more of a big game player. So it's a very strong team. In terms of youth, um, not the best. Let's see. Amazing young winger uh, in this guy. Coman. Coman. I can't pronounce his name. Uh, and hopefully, cause, yeah, he'll be trained at the club. That'll be good. Or unless he's already trained at Southampton. Don't know. See about that one. Uh, Lewis Thomas slowly coming through. Never sent back. Looks good. Might get a couple of games this season. Obviously, Visor signed him. Hatri Musto is still here, although, don't know. He's going to find it difficult to play this season. Um, who else in terms of young? There's no other really super talents. Let's check the under 18s. Nah. See, these, this was like, the best play I got was this guy here, Flynn. And then, like, yeah, th there was nothing good, basically. But, yeah, that's the team. And, yeah, that's pretty much the entire I think I had to say. Um, next season. So, this is the start of the season, obviously. Gone through the preseason. Didn't start too well, but we picked up. Beat Monaco. Good game. Uh, I'm going to play ahead a bit. Um, I don't know how far I'll go. Hmm... I, I'm not going to sign any more players. I know that much. Unless, like, a amazing deal comes up, in which case I'll tell you. But apart from that, at the end of the episode, I'll probably tell you if an amazing deal comes up. Apart from that, how far will I go? Hmm. I'm looking at this Man City game. That might be interesting. Ooh, no, here. There you go. That's the next game. Next episode will be a way... The way... South Wales Derby versus Cardiff. That'll be the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Some more tactical analysis. Might even go through the tactic again. Um, instructions here I've got. This will change, of course, but overall, this is tactic. If we're playing a, a better team, might here drop that off or something. It'll, it'll be rotated a little bit. But that's the general tactic. Looks good. Hopefully it'll be strong. Especially like here. He might get pushed to defend and stuff. Just small changes game by game depending on the opposition. Um, apart from that, I'm looking forward to the season. And hopefully I can do some damage and I don't get the worst Champions League group. So, see you guys here against Cardiff. Thanks for watching.